My name is Monty Tisland. Today we're going to learn about the changes to the BAQs in Epicor 10.1400 and 10.1500. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to be running this in 10.1500, but uh, we'll be referencing back to 10.1400. So let's start with the 10.1400 changes to the BAQs. There have been several changes, but we'll start with the BAQs. Let's create a new test one here. And let's start with an easy one. Make the relationship. Let's throw in a couple of fields. If we analyze it. get some information. Alright, so typical BAQ works. One of the first things that we're going to talk about are the field attributes editor. This was a change that was made in 101400. What, what are we talking about when we're talking about field attributes? Right here these are the field attributes or some of them. But how do we modify them? Well they added a little button down here. Field attributes editor. So if we push the button and as we click along each one of these items, you'll see that they change. What you can do is you can actually add new ones or you can modify the ones that are in here. First off, let's modify ones that are in here just so that we can see what's going to happen to it. I'm going to change the order number because I know that one's big enough it'll show. And let's add something. Now you notice when I did that, it says overridden. And we'll talk about that in just a second. It's going to override it, but we'll talk about the scope of when it's overriding it. So I'm going to close this now. I'm going to save the changes. If we go back to the analyze, see here's the ones that we changed right here. If we test it again, title changed and the format changed. Here, let me go back here. I got another one. Now, one thing too is you can actually change it here if you want, at least some of it. But let's do this. Let's go down here. Let's say for some reason you wanted the order line to have a double, which I've used stuff like that before when you're exporting things. So if we come over here and we retest it, now guess what? We show doubles. So if we have, for some reason, you have double zeros and it's a, num a numeric field and you want to change it so it looks like that for a kind of matches more of a text field you can do that. Now one thing here now too is this is the field attributes editor for these particular fields. So if we look over here at the analyze we change this one and we change this one. Let's say if I go back to those two here actually I'm going to go back to that one. I'm going to change one leave the other one. So I'm going to change the order number. I'm going to remove it. If we go back to that one, we put it back in. And I'm going to put it in the same spot. See, the label's back. The formatting is back to what it was. And if we run it, it goes back. The scope of what you're changing is only for the BAQ that you're currently in. You're not changing the base format. You're not changing the base label. All you're changing it is for how it displays currently on this particular BAQ. And that's important to note so that you know you're not messing with anything else. So now let's say, if we come in here, if you want, you see how some of these, this one's got a required, there's some formats, other things. Let's say on this ship date. For this particular one, if you're doing if you're doing a updatable or something, you want to add one. We can actually add the required. And there are others. If you look at the list here, the, there's a caption. You can format it. Required whether you want it read only or not. Here's the like field. If there happens to be something you want to make it like, so that you could potentially right click from it and be able to select something else. 
uh, biz type, not sure, predictive search, and they have some currency columns. So there's a few things that you can put in there if you really want to, but there are things that you can put in there just to make things a little easier. And that's basically it for the field attributes editor. Now another little cool feature that they added in 10.1.400 is the ability to move tables to a subquery. Now why would you move something to a subquery? Uh, it can be a variety of different reasons and some of those include uh, you want to return only the top five or you want to do some version of the top five with an offset or if you want to do a sum or even distinct. It's really easy and simple to do. If we oop, got to click it first, there we go. Right click, oop, can't move it when the relationship is defined. Now if I wanted to move both of them, I could. I just select both of them, they would both move to the sub report, but I only want to move one. So in order to do that, I need to delete the relationship between them. Now if I select it and then move to subquery, I can move it to an existing subquery if it exists, or I can create a new one. I'm just going to create a new one here. And for now, I'm just going to leave it as an inner. Oop, went away. Okay, wait a second. What do we do? It goes directly to the new subquery. It puts the ship detail. Here are all of the fields that we have. Now, one thing to note, we're going to, if we are going to link the two with a relationship, the fields that are going to be needed to link them need to be in this list as well, which is why I put the company and the pack name in here. So I'm going to leave this the way that it is with its double formatting. And then if I go back up to the top level and go to the phrase build here, we're going to grab the sub report, we're going to drop it down here, and then i got to create the relationship. Since it is Since it's its own thing and it doesn't know how it's related, we need to create the fields that are going to relate them. So we go company and packnum to company and packnum. And so then we come over to the display field since the other ones now are going to be the ones from the ship head. We want to grab the other ones. Actually, if I grab them all, since I had them all there to begin with. Drop them in there. Look at the double formatting still there. We're going to analyze it. And look, nothing changed. So you can see how it moves over rather easily versus having to come over here, see what you had, go to the subquery, rebuild it. Now you at least have an easy way to move it. So that will be number two. There's a third one we're not going to really discuss here. It was done in 101400, and that is in the BAQ reports how you select a company. You can actually select the company and display it that way. Okay, so now what do we have? We've done the field attributes, we've done the move queries. That is all what we had for the 101400. So now let's actually move into the 101500 changes. And there's only a couple in here. Uh, we'll start with the second one first, which is the external data source maintenance. Alright, so if I go to 101400, this is the previous version, I'm just doing this for reference. This is the external data source maintenance in 101400. As you can see, we simply have here's the data source and here's the connection string. Okay, let me get that one out of the way. And so if I go down here, and I'm going to have to not unmaximize that. All right, so if we go to the external BAQs, if I go to the data sources, now I won't be able to completely mimic this since this is actually the uh, 1015 beta site at Epicor, so I'm really not going to be able to create it here, but doesn't matter, I'm going to delete it here in a second anyway, so we're going to grab it. Now this data type is just, that's just the one that comes with it, so I'm not too worried about it. There's the owning company. We're going to set it up as the OLADB. 
Now here's the change that they made in 10 one 500 versus 400. 400's on the right, 500's on the left. You can now enter this using the key properties versus the connection string. So let's say you're not quite sure what goes in there, what the, what the right terminology is, you can put it right in here. So if we put it in here, SQL, OLEDB. And then the data source. This happens to be the SQL database we have currently here which is, like I said, why it won't work. So if we come down here, the catalog would be E101 train. And we're going to have integrated security. OK. So you, met, you see it's the same thing. Providers, SQL, OLADB, data source, E10 SQL, integrated security, SPBII, and the initial catalog. If this was on my system I could push test connection and it would validate. That way we know it was right. So that way we know that it actually matches. So this is the change that they have here is you can add it you can add it using this or you can put it in simply in the connection string if you want. And the last change is the one that's really easy. And we'll, I'll show you that in 400 and in 500. Is in 500 they actually allowed you to have the in the external BAQ the all company is a, one of the options that's available. Here I better cancel this. I better delete this. There we go. All right. So if we go into the external BAQ, this is in 500 now. If we come over here, whoops, didn't want that that big. Do we have one to grab? Nope. All right, so let's create a new one. So let's create a new one. You see that the all companies here, I can check the all companies. This is the owning company. That's the company that I'm currently in. But if I want everybody to be able to use this, then I do the all companies. If I don't, then I leave that unchecked, and only that the owning company will be able to use it. Now, in 10 one 400, I'll show you that here in a second. When it comes alive, here's 101400. If I do the same thing, evidently I got that one in there. You see, the all companies is showing, but it's grayed out. This is probably put in there in one of the uh, later updates. This is our 10 one 400 is patched up to, I believe, 17. So this is probably put in later in a, later in a patch, but but just never really enabled, so it's there. But so you can at least get used to seeing it. But and again, that's the last real big thing that we had there. So so I'm going to here. I'm actually going to delete this, so it's done. So that is what we have for changes in 10 one 400 and 10 one 500. Thank you for your time and have a good day.